Hello and welcome again to Clean Nuts and we're off on another adventure. This time we're going to the West Midlands, which I think we've been to before, uh, Bromsgrove. So as usual, I spent some time on the internet and found a an interesting car which has not been completed. So this is a Kip car build, um, which is a Tiger Cat E1 with a two litre Pinto. I don't know if it's a four or five speed gearbox, live axle. Um, and this car has been being built over 10 years or so and not finished that's not had its SVA test which is single vehicle approval so that's a test you have to do if you want to road register it um, so let's get jump in the car put the trailer on the back and uh, get over and have a look at it and bring it home so the first thing to do is take the Sebring painted body shell off the trailer and grease the uh, tow hitch oops Backed up a bit sharpish there. So I have to put the uh, safety on and I'm very keen to get the, or not to get the trailer pinched. So I put an extra chain on it. So back that off. Got myself locked in the car. And the back brakes are binding a bit. So put the bed back down. Lock it up and off we go. So here we are on the way home at the services. There's a few things that stick out. There's no gator on the gear knob. The wheel centre caps are missing. Petrol caps are missing. Spare wheels missing. Steering wheel isn't safe. Won't pass SVA. Nice seat so. Nice gauges and a nice header. Tyres are brand new, still got the stickers on. They're probably a few years old. And the headlights are out of alignment. Look at this for skill. In one. Thank you very much. Well, I finally got back and I'm thrilled. It's not, not been driven at all. I think it's about 10 years old. Got a Pinto on twin 45s, five speed gearbox and independent rear axle. So let's have a proper look at it tomorrow. Well, I like to get the paperwork in order. It also gives you some clues. I've been saying it's 10 years in the build. Try 20. There's the original chassis bill. 20 years this car's been building this car. Unbelievable. These feel a bit crusty. Feel a bit brittle. This isn't acceptable. That isn't acceptable. Now the previous owner reported fuel exiting here. So I don't like the way this uh, choke uh, clutch cable comes out of the bulkhead through the four branch manifold. Main beam doesn't work, flasher don't work. These bolts are too long, these studs, to get the uh, wheel trims on. Fuel cap missing, seat belt missing, gator missing. Hazards are working. Nice gauges, look. Tiger branded. Fog light works, I've tested, tested that. Oh, I see, fuel gauge. Water temperature. Oil pressure. Speedo. Taco. They're nice. Here 
It's what's wrong with the engine. I think I'm going to put together a plan of what to do. So checking the oil, checking the fuel, checking the fuel pressure, get the tyres pumped up, sort out the wheel trims, sort out the headlamp, sort out this messy wiring we've got here. So there you have it, a Tiger Cat E1 kit started in the year 2000. It's now January 2020. It's been 20 years in the build. It needs to be SFA. Um, SVA single vehicle approval to get it road registered. Oh, there's the uh, wheel centres. So, got to do some work on it. New tyres, bit of body work damage there. Got a sticker over it. Independent rear suspension from a Sierra. Anyway, I'll put together a plan and uh, we'll have a little go at it together, see if we can get it registered, see if we can get it running and see if we can get it uh, on the road. So if you if you like these videos, like and subscribe. Remember, clean nuts, celebrating all things mechanical. <laughs> yeah. See you. Keep in touch, Dave. Well, it's time to say goodbye to the special. We've had it 10 years. Goodbye, my friend. It's been fun knowing you.